Summary of Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney Greg Hefley starts Diary of a Wimpy Kid by saying that it is definitely not a diary, because he is afraid that other kids would make fun of him if they knew he was writing about his feelings. Greg complains at the start of the new school year that this whole popularity thing is so much harder now that he's in middle school. Greg knows that he is only around 52nd or 53rd most popular at his school, but he wants to move up in the popularity rankings. Greg's best and only friend right now, though, is Rowley, who doesn't care what other people think of him. Greg comes up with different plans in the first few months of school to try to make himself more famous and improve his social standing. He runs for student government finance, but he loses because his whole campaign was just making fun of his opponent. He tries to make Rowley's basement into a spooky house, but Rowley's dad tells him to stop. In physical education class, he is terrified to be paired with the weird kid Fregley, who is the only boy small enough to wrestle with Greg. He tries to build muscle by lifting weights, but it doesn't work out as planned because he hates exercise. Greg's life has other problems, too. He is afraid of the cheese, a piece of moldy cheese left on the basketball court. Anyone who touches it will get the cheese touch and be shunned by society for the rest of their lives. He often gets picked on by older, bigger kids, like the teenagers who sprayed him and Rowley with water on Halloween. Greg likes to play video games, but his dad always tells him to go outside and enjoy the sun or takes away his video game time as a punishment. Greg's mom makes him try out for the school play, which might be the worst thing. Greg is hired as a tree in The Wizard of Oz, but when he throws apples at the lead actress and breaks her glasses, he ruins the whole show and shuts it down. Greg isn't happy with the gifts he gets for Christmas, and he thinks his younger brother, Manny, gets too much attention from their parents. Greg and Rowley volunteer for the Safety Patrol, which is a group of students who walk kindergartners home from school. Greg is always trying to move up the social ladder at middle school. Greg also tries out for the job of artist for the school newspaper and gets it. However, this backfires when Mr. Ira, the maths teacher in charge of the newspaper, changes Greg's comic strip to teach how to add fractions. Rowley gets in trouble because it was said that he terrified the kindergartners during safety patrol. However, it was Greg who scared the kids with a worm, but a neighbor didn't realize it because Greg was wearing Rowley's hat. Greg lets Rowley take the blame, so Rowley stops talking to him and starts spending time with another friend, Colin Lee, and having sleepovers with him. Greg tries to get back at Rowley by hanging out with Fregley, but he admits that he misses Rowley. Even worse, Rowley all of a sudden becomes famous. Girls feel sorry for him when he breaks his hand and has to wear a cast. He also makes a comic strip called Zooey Mama, which both kids and teachers find funny. Greg is upset about this because he wanted to be the class clown in the school yearbook, and Zooey Mama was his idea. The fight between Greg and Rowley ends though, when the same teens who chased them on Halloween pick on both of them. One of the teens drags Rowley over to the cheese and makes him eat it to get back at Greg and Rowley for running away that night. The next day, everyone in school wants to know where the cheese went, and Greg knows it won't be long before someone figures out that he and Rowley were behind it. Greg knows that if people found out that Rowley ate the cheese, they would pick on him and avoid him. Greg tells everyone that he threw away the cheese to protect Rowley. This means that Greg, not Rowley, is now thought to have the cheese touch. Greg and Rowley become friends again, and Rowley is named class clown in the yearbook. Greg decides that he will only tell people what really happened to the cheese if Rowley thinks he is too funny. About the author. Jeff Kinney was born in 1971 to Madeline and Bruce Kinney in Fort Washington, Maryland. Kinney studied computer science at the University of Maryland, College Park. When he was in college, he had a comic strip called Igdoof published in the school newspaper. This was the start of his work as an author and cartoonist. Kinney is best known for his Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, which began as online pictures posted every day. The cartoons were a huge hit, and in 2007, Kinney turned the diary into a book. Since then, he has written 13 more books in the series and worked as an executive producer on films based on his works. 
McKinney married Julie in 2003, and they now live in Plainville, Massachusetts, with their two children. Will and Grant are their two children. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.